Hi, I'm Ganesh. I'm an engineer with the Coecity file system team. I want to talk about the advantages of using Coecity for file and object storage. Coecity is a scale-out cluster that is web scale. What we mean by that is every single node has all the services running in it. So when you add a node, you add more SSD, more compute, more space for metadata, more space for data, and so on. For example, in a scale-out cluster, you can create a file that's as much as the size of the cluster. In a 100 terabyte cluster, you can create a single 100 terabyte file. Or you can have huge number of files because the space for metadata also grows as the cluster expands. You can create as many files as you want. We also don't have limits on the number of clones that you can create or the number of volumes that you can create. Coecity can also do tape out natively. It can archive to other NFS and S3 storage, or it can archive to the cloud. It can also replicate to other Coecity clusters. Because of this, you get tape out and archival inbuilt with the SpanFS file system. Typically, when you buy a NAS, you have to buy backup software separately to do tape out via NDMP. But with Coecity, you get tape out and archival built in. The next advantage I want to talk about is multi-protocol access. Coecity provides access to data via NFS, SMB, and S3, and we provide multi-protocol access with all three. So you can write data via NFS and read the data via S SMB, and that is similar to other NAS file systems, and we provide ID mapping via three different methods, um, all Active Directory based. But we go one step further, and we also provide multi-protocol access between NFS or SMB and S3. So you can write via NFS and read via S3. Similarly, you can write data via S3 and read data via NFS or SMB. This opens up new possibilities such that you can dump log files via NFS and you can run a Spark job on it, which can access the data via S3. Coecity SpanFS also provides Worm, it has quotas both at physical and logical level, and it provides instant cloning via Snaptree. Snaptree is a B plus tree technology, and you can clone any view or a file or a directory instantly, and you can have unlimited number of clones. So you can take a view and then you can clone it, and you can clone that view and so on. And even though you have large number of clones from the view, you do not have performance degradation. One other thing I want to mention is that the SpanFS is strictly consistent, which means that whenever a write comes in, every piece of data and metadata is propagated throughout the cluster before the write is acknowledged. Because of this, uh, you can have any failure, and as long as the write is acknowledged, you can read the data from any other node, and you'll get back the data. In summary, SpanFS offers a lot of unique advantages when used for file and object storage. Thanks for watching. Thank you.